Egyptian health minister Khala Sayed has outlined the country's preparations to tackle the fourth wave of the COVID-19. In a press conference held on Monday morning, Zayed says that, say that the government would be intensifying its vaccination campaign across Egypt to inoculate all education staff before the new academic year begins in October. Adel Amrouhi has more. This week, Egypt will be releasing its first batch of the locally produced Vaxera Sinovac COVID-19 vaccines. 15 million doses of the Egyptian Chinese jab have so far been produced as the country prepares to step up its vaccination campaign. Daily infection rates are picking up, indicating that the fourth wave of the pandemic is beginning. From last week, going through this one, there has been a rise in infections. The figures are not alarming in relation to the size of the population, but it's been a continuous rise, which means it will go on. The Egyptian government is focused on intensifying the vaccination process ahead of the peak of that wave. Egypt's new academic year is set to begin in public schools and universities in October. Health Minister Hala Zaid has announced that all education staff have to get COVID-19 jabs. This means that the government must inoculate some 5.5 million employees throughout the next six weeks. All employees in the Ministry of Education or Higher Education are invited to sign up for getting the vaccines on the Health Ministry digital portal. They must register before August 31st so that they can take both doses in September because they will not be allowed to enter any educational facility without getting the vaccine. The government recently opened an additional 87 new vaccination centers nationwide. It's expecting to have launched some 800 centers by the end of August. Zaid said that the first Delta Plus COVID-19 variant was detected in mid-July. She warned that while the symptoms might not be alarming, the new virus spreads more rapidly. Egypt's vaccination program is moving much slower than the government's capacity. So far, 10 million Egyptians have registered for the COVID-19 vaccine, but only 6 million received at least one dose. As the country prepares for resuming education, it is for the first time allowing students less than 18 years to get the COVID-19 jab, but only if they've been accepted in universities. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo. We're staying with that story and now we, we're now joined by Dr. Githingi Gitahi, Group CEO at AMREP Health Africa and also board member at Africa CDC and they're based right here in Nairobi. Thank you so much for joining us, doctor. Why are we seeing governments asking civil servants to get vaccinated against COVID-19? Is there any law that could change such a decision? Well, I think the government is looking at duty of care. That's uh, the issue that uh, the government has a lot of civil servants who are um, you know, elderly above 50 or above 55, and they also have comorbid conditions like hypertension and diabetes, and therefore is looking at the duty of care, especially because the civil service needs to go back to work. And therefore, if you don't get vaccinated, then do you stay out of work or do you come back to work? I think the challenge that you're raising is, is it within the law? And I actually don't think it is. Kenya doesn't have a legal framework for mandating vaccination but employees, employers can actually mandate vaccination and take several measures, but it can be challenged in court. Doctor, what do you think, uh, why do you think some government employees are still reluctant to get vaccinated? The, the first issue is that we've had no vaccines. There has been actually been a scarcity of vaccines. There has been a big access issue. And therefore, when you don't have vaccines, the government then also, and also partners like ourselves, don't go out of our way to do a huge effort to overcome the skepticism, because I like to call it skepticism now rather than hesitancy, because, you know, hesitancy seems to sound absolute, like people do not want to get vaccinated. Uh, but without access, then you don't want to create a massive effort of communication. But right now we are seeing just now, in the, in the week is when we are starting to see accessible vaccines to everyone, in which case then we have to start talking to religious leaders, community leaders, individuals. Just yesterday I held a webinar with so many people to talk about vaccines. So this, of course, must increase so that people can overcome their fears, because the fears are driven by absence of information. 
they are not absolute fears. They are driven by absence of information, fears of if I'm pregnant, can I get vaccinated? If I'm breastfeeding, what if I have hypertension? What if I have diabetes? What if I have allergy? Those are the fears we must overcome so that we can improve vaccine uptake. But we are seeing that going up now. Dr. Gitahi, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Dr. Githinji Gitahi, Group CEO at AMREP Health Africa, also board member at Africa CDC.